is Jessica Anderson, and I'm a certified nurse midwife at the University of Colorado Hospital with the Center for Midwifery. Today we're going to discuss how to change a diaper. The most important thing you want to remember is with changing a diaper is to make sure you have all your supplies in place before you get started. So before you get started with changing your baby's diaper, you want to make sure that you have all the supplies out. So have a diaper ready as well as your wipes all in arm's reach so that you're not leaving your baby um, to go and grab things. You also want to make sure that you're changing a diaper in a safe location. Safe locations could include a diaper changing table, the floor, um, anywhere that's safe and you want to make sure that you never leave your baby when you're changing a diaper. Because even babies that are very young, one or two days of age, can roll um, and we would hate to have an injury. So before you get started, make sure you have your diaper as well as your wipes, a washcloth. Just you want to make sure you have something to clean the, your baby's bottom. So grab your diaper, your clean diaper, open it up. You want to make sure that the, the, the tabs are to the bottom side of your baby. So take the clean di diaper, place it underneath, gently grab your baby's legs and gently lift up and place the diaper underneath. At this point, you can go ahead and open the diaper and see what surprise you have. This baby just looks wet today. You have the clean diaper underneath your baby's bottom. You can gently open up the diaper, fold it underneath, and if you do have some stool, you can just gently take the diaper and wipe off the excess, the wetness in the stool um, to help get some of the, the larger amounts out of the way. Then you want to take your wipe and um, wipe from front to back, especially with girls. So with baby girls, you want to make sure that you wipe from front to back because you can cause infection if you wipe from the back to the front. You could cause a vaginal infection or a bladder infection with your baby girl. Once you've wiped from front to back um, or wiped um, your little boy, um, you want to take out the dirty diaper. You can roll it out, set it to the side, out of the way, out of the way of the baby as well. And then just gently take the diaper Make sure it's fitting, fitting well around the front and the back area. In this baby, I'm going to have to roll it because the diaper is a little bit bigger. After you place the diaper on, um, you want to make sure that everything looks evenly um, situated in the back and the front. Sometimes you need to roll the diaper just because the diaper may be too big. And you definitely want to make sure that the diaper is below the umbilical cord if the cord has yet to fall off. You want to make sure that the tabs are moved over on both sides and that they're evenly spaced. You also want to make sure the diaper is fitting snugly so that to avoid any leaks um, or mishaps in that area. And then when you're done, you want to make sure that your baby is safe um, and you want to dispose of the diaper in the garbage. And that is how you change a diaper.